Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and I have something that's kind of neat to uh, review today. This is the P01 Whoop Power 1S battery charger, multi-channel battery charger. Um, it's capable of charging up to six, one, two, three, four, five, six, 1S batteries. And those batteries can be either one of these three uh, ports. Um, we got Micro Low C here. We got, uh, I believe that's MX and MCPX there. So, you know, each one of these ports can charge a different style of battery connector. In addition, you can also charge your phone <laughs> or any other uh, charge, chargeable device that uses a micro U or a USB port uh, charger. So you got USB port output power of 5 volts at 2.1 amps with this chargers. And these can charge from uh, 0.1 amp all the way up to 1 full amp for, for these. Uh, unfortunately, you can't individually select uh, the amperage for each of these different channels. You're going to have to select one for the whole group. Um, so keep that in mind. And I'll discuss that here shortly as we go over the different types of batteries that this can charge. Now this can charge both LiPo or also the new high voltage batteries, LIHV batteries uh, in this. In fact, I'm going to try to demonstrate that here. It also comes with all these connectors. Uh, you can charge, use as a power source, either a uh, 2S, 3S, or 4S battery using this XT60 connector for the power input. Or you can use a Dean's connector with this adapter to, you know, a 2S, 3S, or 4S battery with a Dean's connector to power it. Or if you've just got a wall char charger, and I'm going to do that instead since <laughs> that's the fastest way. If you're at home, use the wall charger, in other words. And I got a wall charger port that I will plug into it for this particular uh, demonstration. Now, if you're like me, <laughs> and if you even tried. Uh, these little micro FPV racers, you you would have already found that they are very addictive and you probably got more than one. And you probably got more than one style of battery that's going to need to be charged. In the case of today, we got this uh, 3.7 volt uh, LiPo, which is 250 milliamp per hour, that we're going to plug into number one. We got uh, this, this is an HV battery, uh, 260 milliamp per hour, that we're going to plug into port 2. Keep in mind these are different style batteries. Number 2 is different. We got a standard uh, micro low C what is this one? 400 milliamp per hour that we are going to plug into port 3 and on this one we have an MCPX 3.7 volt standard LiPo that we'll plug into port 4 and port 5 we'll plug in this uh, 600 milliamp per hour micro low C connector and number seven we also have a 700 milliamp per hour uh, red JST that we're going to use one of these adapters with yeah, let's plug the adapter in right now now I'm gonna make sure I got that right there we go okay now I am going to plug in the power source before I plug in these batteries Let's get this out of the way. We are going to use this power source for today. But let me just show you real quick before I use that power source. You can use a battery if you're out in the field. And it tells you first your battery power. And right now it's set to 0.5 amp to charge each of these batteries. But I am not going to use a battery. I want to also demonstrate if at home use a wall plug. It's going to save you the trouble of charging that initial battery for this. And plug that in like so. And what we need to do now is program this for these batteries. Now, this is set to charge each of these batteries at 0.5 amps. What you're going to need to do is determine what's the lowest power battery you got, or lowest milliamp or hour power battery you got, and then multiply that two, times 2 to give you the charging amperage. In other words, a 2C charge, they would call that. And the lowest power that I got is 250 milliamp per hour. So if I multiply that times 2, that gives me 500 milliamp per hour, which is 0.5 amp. So this is, it's already set to the appropriate charge for this. Um, these others can also be charged to 0.5 amp, but it's going to take them longer to charge. Um, this one's probably going to, um, 
charge up first. Now these others, if you were if you need to do charge them faster, I would recommend charging your larger batteries in a sec, second group and setting the amperage up higher at a later time. For these, you know, that are 500, 600 milliamp per hour, you're going to need probably want to use the max amperage, five or 500 milliamp per hour times two equals one amp. So I would, you know, again that's the max amperage of this charger and charge them separately in a separate group at a later time. But in this case we're going to charge all six. So we're going to select 0.5 amp based on our lowest charge battery. Now this one here is a, oh no, this number two is a LIHV battery. So we're going to need to set port two to um, H. And I'll show you how. We're going to hold this button down Right now, all are set to LiPo. You can change them all to, uh, let's go back again. Back to A. All are set to LiPo. You can all set them all to uh, high voltage if you want, but we're going to set, select them, make them all right now LiPo, and we are going to individually go to number two, and then hold down this button for a few seconds, and number two is going to be high voltage now, and the others are all going to be LiPo. So we are set. Now we're going to plug in our batteries. And this one is a okay, 0.5 amp. And this one again is set to HV. Okay, and now let's plug in our batteries. This one goes in first. It's a LiPo. This one's an HV. And that'll go in second. And it's an MCPX connector. Goes in second. This one is a standard micro low C goes in that one this is MCPX connector lipo we'll plug into that one micro low C we'll plug into its micro low C port and also micro low C that's been converted from a red JST into that port there let's get it in there and this one came out hold on there. Now all are charging, and it's reminding us that this one here is a different than the others. It's a faster blink than the others. So we know that number two is high voltage, and it knows that the others are lipos. So these are slower blinking, and this is faster blinking. And then it'll cycle through each of these. Number three is 4.05 volts. Number four, right now, is 4.03 volts. Number five is right now 4.05 volts. And number six is 4.17 volts. Now, when one of them reaches full charge, it'll stop charging. Uh, this is a smart charger. It won't let it get it go above 4.2 volts, and it'll start putting the remaining power to the other remaining batteries. And when all of them are fully charged, uh, the alarm will go off, letting you know it's done. So that's it. Pretty neat charger, in my opinion. <laughs> Pretty darn neat. Um, it comes with a nice instruction manual. It comes with that box. and uh, You get the strap. I'm not sure what the strap is for other than maybe to, to tie on the lipo battery, the charging lipo battery to the back of that. But uh, all in all, pretty neat charger. So, hope you enjoyed this review. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out.